Midterm season is winding down, but early voting numbers are providing a glimpse into what Election Day may look like, and subsequently, the direction of the country. One America's Jennifer Pranko breaks down all those figures. Election Day is less than a week away, but already, almost 30 million Americans have cast their ballot. With Democrats trying to take back Congress and Republicans fighting to keep their grip, early voting is surging beyond what's typical during a non-presidential election year. This year, we're breaking every single record in attendance for the midterms. They're getting more people than some of the presidential elections. Initial early and absentee voter data has surpassed the nationwide figures from the 2014 midterms by almost double, and in some states, nearly triple. A handful of states like Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, and Texas are all on track to outpace overall turnout for 2014 before Election Day. In fact, enthusiasm is running so high, some states like Minnesota are seeing ballots match early turnout from the 2016 presidential election. When broken down by party, Republicans appear to be edging out Democrats in states that have competitive Senate, House, and governor races like Arizona, Florida, Texas, Georgia, Indiana, Montana, and Tennessee. The trend is even apparent in the traditionally blue state of California, which features a heated gubernatorial race. So historically, the party that holds the White House loses in the midterms on average 30 seats in the House and two to three seats in the Senate, and it's because of complacency. However, with the future of several contentious issues like health care, immigration, border security, and the economy on the line, Americans seem to be more focused on elections than in previous years. Additionally, the recent Supreme Court battle also seemed to light a fire under Republicans. So the Kavanaugh hearings really helped boost our energy. It gave voters an, a sense of what Democrats are going to bring with that search and destroy mission against Kavanaugh with an inability to work with this president. And it ramped up a lot of that energy across the board. And although early voting data can't predict which party will have higher turnout on Election Day, it's a factor that can't be ignored and appears to be putting a damper on Democrat hopes of a so-called blue wave. A lot of people talk about this blue wave and all that stuff. I don't believe it. I happen to think that on election night, you're going to find a very, very close situation. With the fate of congressional control on the line, it's no coincidence the president has made a point to visit many key states to rally support for GOP candidates in the final stretch. Under Republican leadership, America is booming. America is thriving. And America is winning because we are finally putting America first. It's been a long time. Now it's just a matter of days before voters decide whether to stay the course or shake things up. But nonetheless, voter turnout is sure to smash new records, setting the stage for what could be a record-breaking presidential election in 2020.